Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of squares and square roots, we shall be taking questions related to finding the square root of decimal numbers by long division method. So let's start. The question is find the values of square root of 3.1428 and square root of 0.31428 correct to three decimal places. Now if you observe these numbers, both are in decimal form. Their digits are also same 3.1428 and over here also 31428 digits are same. Only thing is the place of decimal point is different. And when we have the decimal point at different place, even though the digits are same, we will get a different value of the square root, right? Because the periods will be different, right? Pairs will be different. That's why. Now we want correct to three decimal place. We want the square root value correct to three decimal place. So to have correct to three decimal place, that means we have to correct the third place depending on the value which we get at the fourth decimal place. So we need uh, four places of decimal. Now to require four places of decimal, we require four periods. Over here, if you see this number part one, 3.1428, we have only two pairs after the decimal point. So we need two more pairs so we can insert pair of zeros over here, right? So total now we have four periods. So finally, we can say our periods are whole number part. We can have one period, say three, then one, four, two, eight, double zero, double zero, right? So these are the periods which we have got. Now we are starting with the long division process. Now first period is three. We have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than three. So we can have one. One into one is one. We cannot have two because two into two is four, which is greater than three. Now three minus one is two, right? Bring down the next period, 14. Now because this period 14 is after the decimal point, you need to keep a decimal point after the first question that is one. So we have kept a decimal point after one, right? Now the new dividend we have got is 214. We have to think of a divisor now. For that we shall take the first question and double it. So 1 into 2 is 2. Keep a blank over here. Or simply you can add the newly added question 1 plus 1. You can get 2 like that also. So now we have to think of a number. What should come in this blank? Same number will be our question. And the product we should get a number which is less than or equal to 214. So after a lot of trials, I got seven as a suitable number. So 27 into seven, I will get the product 189, which is less than 214, All right? And now 214 minus 189, I will get 25. Further bring down the next period that is 28. Now my dividend is 2528, right? For which I need a divisor. For the divisor, I will take the question. Now new question I have is 17 because I have added the new number 7 over here. So my question is now 17. I will take 17 and I will double it. 17 into 2 is 34. Keep a blank over here. Another way is the newly added question is 7. So 7, 27 plus 7, you can have 34 that way also. Now what number should come? in this blank multiply by the same number so that the product is either equal to or less than 2528 so after trials i got the suitable number as 7 so my divisor is 347 my question is 7 and product i am getting 2429 right now 2528 minus 2429 i will get 99 as the remainder i will bring forward the next period that is 00 so now new dividend which i have got is 9 9900 or you can say 9900 now my new question is 177 right over here 177 so i will take 177 multiply by 2 i will get 354 keep a blank over here or you simply add the new question which you had added previously that was 7 347 plus 7 is 354 right keep a blank over here now what should come over here in this blank same number i have to multiply in the question so that the product is exactly equal to or less than 9900 so 
after trials i got the suitable number 2 which i can keep keep in the blank so my divisor is 3542 multiplied by 2 which i have kept in the quotient my product is 7084 now find the difference 9900 minus 7084 i will get 2816 and now bring down double zero the next period so now this is my new dividend i have to solve this dividend for which i need a divisor now if you see in the question i have 1772 right this much i have got as a question now so i will take 1772 and multiply by 2 and i will get 3544 right and keep a blank over here and now or you can just add 2 over here the newly added question so 3542 plus 2 is also 3544 right now in the blank you have to think of a number what should come over here multiply by the same number you get a product which is equal to 281600 now after a lot of trials i got 7 as a suitable number which i will keep in the blank so my divisor is 35447 multiply by 7 i will get the product 248129 further find the difference remainder i will get 33471 this is the remainder which I've got. I have no other period left over here. So I will stop my long division process. I have already got the four places of decimal. So I can say the square root of 3.1428 is 1.7727. The question which I've got is actually the square root. But they have asked in the question to find correct to three decimal place. And we have calculated till four decimal place. Now what we need to do is we have, need to check the fourth place what is the value we have got at the fourth place so we have got 7 which is greater than 5 so what we are going to do is we are going to take the third place and increase it by 1 so 2 will become 3 in the third place so this is uh, what is known as correct to three decimal places that means we are correcting the third place of decimal depending on the value which we get at the fourth place so at the fourth place we were getting seven which is greater than five so we will increase the third place by one so we can say the square root of 3.1428 is 1.773 right now let us take up second part we have to find the square root of 0 0.31428 by long division method now first step of long division method is to form the pairs and since we have to find the square root correct to three decimal place we actually require four decimal places that means we require total four periods after the decimal point we, we should have four periods that means four pairs so over here if we start making the pairs the first will be uh, zero right as the whole number part consists of no digit except for zero and then we will start forming pairs 31 is the first period then 42 then we are left with 8 we can insert a 0 to make it a pair so 80 is another period and then 0 0 that will give us the four decimal places so total four periods will give us four decimal places now we shall start with the long division process the first period 0 we will take we will think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 0 but because over here 0 is there so we can start with 0 only so 0 into 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 bring down the next period 31 right now our dividend is 31 we need a divisor so we shall take the first question 0 and we will double it 0 into 2 is 0 keep a blank over here or you can simply add 0 over here 0 plus 0 is 0 that way also you can do right now dividend is 31 we have to think of a number what should come in this blank so that if we multiply by the same number in the question we get a product which is less than or equal to 31 so we have found that 5 is the suitable number so we can keep 5 over here as a divisor 5 in the question 5 into 5 is 25 31 minus 25 is 6 bring down the next period 42 now 642 is the dividend this is the new dividend and now we need to have a divisor now the new question if you observe over here 0 5 is the new question or we can simply say 5 bring down 5 double it 5 into 2 is 10 keep a blank over here or you can simply add 5 
over here to 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Now we have to think of a number what should come in this blank. Multiply by the same number in the question which we will put so that the product is equal to or less than 642. So over here through trials I came to know that suitable number is 6. So I will take 106 as a divisor. Question is 6 and my product is 636. Now 642 minus 636 I will get remainder as 6. I will bring down the next period 80. Now my new dividend is 680. My new dividend over here is 680. I need a divisor now. For that I will look at the question 056 or I can simply say 56. Now 56 I will take, I will double it. I will get 112 and keep a blank over here. Or you can simply add 6 over here, the newly added quotient. 6 plus 6 is, oh sorry, 106 plus 6 is 112. So that way also we can get. Now over here a blank is there. What should come in this blank? So that same number I multiply with in the quotient and I get a product which is less than or equal to 680. So clearly I can keep only 0 over here because even if I keep 1 over here, 1121 into 1, I will get a number which is greater than 680. So I cannot keep 1 over here. So my divisor now is 1120 multiply by 0, I will get 0. 680 minus 0 is 680. Bring down the next period that is 00. So now I can say my new dividend is 68,000, right? I need to solve 68,000 for which I need a divisor, right? Now, if you see over here, the new question now is 0560. Over here, now 0 is also added. Basically, it is 560. So, I will take 560, multiply by 2, I will get 1120, right? Now, over here, or you could have simply added 0 to 1120 and got 1120 right that way that way also we can find out now keep a blank over here think of a number what should come in this blank multiply by the same number in the question and the product should be such that it is either less than or equal to 68000 so suitable number which i have got after a lot of trials is 6 so i can say my divisor is 11206 and my question is 6 my product is 67236 and my remainder now is coming 764. Now there is no more period left and we are left with the remainder. So we shall stop over here. We have already got four decimal places. Now we can say the square root of, we can say square root of 0.31428 is 0 0.5606, which is our question. Exactly the question we have written over here. 0.5606. Now it is four decimal places. They are saying you have to correct the third decimal place. That means depending on the fourth place, fourth place is six over here. We have to correct the third place. So over here six is greater than five, right? So this zero, which is at third place, we will increase it by one, right? So our square root becomes 0.561. So we can say square root of 0 0.31428 is 0 0.561. Okay, so this is how the square root value changes the moment we change the decimal point. Though the, num the digits in the number in both these parts were same, but still we got the different values, the different square roots just because of the different periods which we have formed. Okay. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the video and understood both the parts. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.